Welcome to the Urban Cowgirl Show. Well, this is part two of our present training in harness. We've got Sadie saddled up, excuse me, harnessed up in her nylon surcingle with her leather bridle and blinders. We're going to ground drive her just a little bit today for practice. And then we put some uh, collars, dog collars, on the bottom ring of the surcingle on either side. And if all is going well, we're going to see if we can put our gray conduit 10 foot pieces of EMT uh, through the dog collars as simulated chaps. And uh, we'll show that to you if we get that far. But for now, I'm going to turn the camera on to our driving area here in our pasture. Try to stay in camera's view because it's, once again, we only have two people today. And we just want to do a few minutes of practice in ground driving. And I'm Sonia Sokolo, and here is our great conduit, if we get that far. I just want to make sure that Sadie will drive okay before I give the drive lines to Anielle, who's kind of new at this. We should be coming into camera's view now. I'm gonna do some big circles in both directions. Ha! Step up, ha! Good. Step up, G! G is right, ha is left. We're gonna stop right in front of the camera. Gotta get a good wall. I was watching an RFD program about draft horses being driven at Disney World. And the driver, interestingly enough, who was practicing in the morning before all the traffic came, stood off to the side like this. I always feel like it's important to get those drive lines evenly spaced on each side of the hip. But those horses were trained for G and Ha off the side. So that's okay, whatever they're trained at, whatever they're used to. In my opinion, when we actually start doing farming, we're not gonna be off the side, we're gonna be right in the back. So I'm gonna try to continue to try to stay, keep my drive lines evenly adjusted over the hip. I'm backing her back, 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 good. Good girl. And you know, I wish we had a third person uh, because what I'd really like to do, I don't want the lead line taken off at this moment. <laughs> There's only two of us. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep you at the head. And when we turn off the camera, you can, try, uh, you can practice a little because it's, she's being good. She's being light and the weather's good. But what I'm gonna do now, just to get her used to feeling something like a shaft on the side of her body, I'm coming off to the side and Yella's still at the head. All right, great conduit luckily is light, lightweight. I can take both pieces carefully behind her. We're on grass, so it's not making a lot of noise, but I'm sure she's aware that something is going on back here. So far, so good. Drive lines over her hips again. Remember the caveat, always make sure if you have long lines like this, you don't get them wrapped around your hands, your arms, your ankles. It can be very, very dangerous. 
Boy, I sure hope we're in camera's view. Can you put, I'm going to use the non-bulbous end to go through the dog collar on the left side. I'm going to ask Danielle to help me guide it through. Good. Now, can you go on the other side of Sadie? She's aware that you're moving it. I can pull this conduit out at any moment if she spooks through the right side. Can I drive with the conduit in my hand? I really don't know. Can I control both of them? It, especially if she spooks, although she's not spooking at all right now. I'm just going to go straight, and I'll pull the conduit out if I have to. Whoa! She's trying to back up on me. I don't want that. Step up. Step up. Step up. Good. Gee. Good. She's feeling the conduit on her hips. Jake. Jake. Good. Let's go in front of the camera. Jake. Whoa. Pretty tricky. Whoa. Okay, the conduit came out because it took her two steps to whoa. Sure, like I'm saying, it sure would be helpful if we had a full team. I would like to do that again and yell, but go the other direction and call that our moment of resolution. Which means now we have to put the conduit back in. Boy, I sure hope I'm in camera's view, and if not, I hope you can get the idea of what's happening here. Drive lines are loose while I'm adjusting the conduit, but she's standing still. We're going to go out to the middle in front of camera's view, but then turn direction, go in the hard direction. Step up. Step up. Gee. You think we're in front of camera? Go ha. Huh. Step up. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. I'm trying to pull on the left line ever so slightly. Ha. Huh. Good. To the camera. Steady. Ho. Ho. We got to work on that hole. When you practice, Without the conduit in, with somebody at her head, we've got to get all four feet in concrete, like Aaron Ralston used to say. When we ask for a hoe, that means the four feet don't move. I drop the conduit, and I'm going to, whoa, step up, step up, G. Step up, G. A little harder turn with my right rein. Good. Steady, ho. That was a better hoe. You know what I think we can do is switch rolls. She's being good. I'm going to let you drive. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Ah, she's now. I said maybe spoke too soon. No, she's okay. Don't know if you can see her whole body. Let's go back out a little bit to the right. Step up. G. G. Then we'll switch rolls. Ho. Oh. Can you grab the lines with your hand and give me the lead line? Look to the back. Do the same routine. See if you can do it. Let me get this. No, that's okay. All right, now you tell her, step up, and you say G or ha, and I'll go along with you. Okay, step up. Step up. Step up, G. G. Pull a little bit more with the right. G. Remember, she has... Step up, G. G, pull it with the right. G. Tug, tug, tug. There you got the right hand turn. I wish we had somebody at the camera. She wasn't going right. And I couldn't use a visual block because she has her blinders on. G. Give yourself plenty of room to hop. G. 
How about hot now? Step up. Ha! Little right, go my left hand. Hug. Back to the camera. Ha! And the conduit's on the ground here. I hope it doesn't spook her. She stepped on it. I'm glad. Oh. Whoa. Because that happens sometimes when you're farming. They step on things they don't expect. Well, hard to do with just two people. But we did it safely and we're calling that our moment of resolution with Sadie, Anyel, and Sonia teaching Sadie to be a farming horse. Here's a new session. We're working with Eve and we have the vaulting sur single on her. If you look in the first part of uh, farming with horses practice, you'll see that she did fine with the vaulting sur single on and we use the yellow rope as drive lines. We have a breast collar on that will keep the vaulting sur single nicely centered on her back. But we are also putting the leather bridle on so that we get Eve and Sadie, when we work with her, used to their blinders. Now, we've got the four card out today, and this is a tack fitting day. If all goes well tomorrow, we'll maybe have three people today. We only have two, and we'll actually use the drive lines and the four card and the vaulting sur single on Eve. But recall that I have told you in the past that uh, farming with horses, although it's a wonderful activity, can be very dangerous because there are a lot of things being pulled and pressures on the body and so forth that are very different from when you're riding horses or lunging horses. Okay, so today, tack fitting. Uh, Sam, can you move back with Eve? Eve is very, very calm today so far. It is fall here in Santa Cruz. There is no... Uh, Do a little circle with her, just for a second. So sure, so we're going to walk around, show you. If you look back at uh, the first show about us resuming this farming training, you'll see that Eve was real spooky that day. When we were trying to uh, work with Sadie and Eve individually. Now the vaulting sur single, we're hoping that we can use it and put the shafts of the forecart in the Cossack straps and then somehow figure out how we can do some practice pulling the forecart uh, with drive lines and somebody sitting in the forecart safely. Okay, that's good. Good, good, okay. And back her up a little bit. Very nice. Okay, now I, it's only Sam and I today, so I am going to go and pick up the four card, bring it to behind Eve. I'm going to just try to see if those shafts are going to be at the right angle. We want them coming to her, the tip of her shoulder, uh, in a parallel fashion. But you see the four card, it's kind of a simulation of a farming tool. And I have a feeling that we're going to have to extend those Cossack straps a little bit. And to do so, I have some dog collars. We'll add what we have to add to get the right angle. All right, now I'm going to go get the four cart. I'm going to very carefully and as quietly as I can, but it will make noise because it's old and it's kind of rattly. If, if Eve gets spooked by it, okay, we'll deal with it one tiny baby step at a time. So here goes. It's all right, Eve. It's all right. Now I'm pushing it back. You don't see this, but I'm pushing it back so I can straighten it up. And it's making noise. Now you see Eve is moving. Well, because she's got her blinders on, she hears something back here. He's not, she's not sure what it is. It's all right, Eve. But because we're facing the manure bins, she's not going to push Sam all over the place, but she sure wasn't going to stay straight. Okay, I'm going to push back again, and Sam's going to walk back up 
And uh, I'll tell you what, Sam, go a little bit down the fence because it's wet here and it's not wet there. And I'll adjust the camera. Remember, we're making do with a small crew. Good. And you do want to go uh, up to, that's an even better place because there's a wall there. Uh, it uh, helps to give stop to Eve. She sees the wall. She can see ahead of herself. I would go even closer to the wall. You see the fence uh, of the manure bin. Not there where the gate is, but where there's a wall. Visual. Visual means a lot. So move her around again. Moving closer. We're keeping the sun behind us. That's it. Good. Now, I am going to, you won't be able to hear me because I'm going to be farther away. I'll speak loudly or tell you how it went if there are issues to discuss when I get back to the camera. It's all righty. Person, but not today. Didn't work out. Good. Walk around it. Let her investigate. It's an obstacle right now. It's a spooky object right now. And Eve is one of my best obstacle horses. She even did the teeter-totter years back when my other two wouldn't at first. And I'm going to give Sam an arm extension. Just a lunge whip. She can use the string or the front for a visual. She can turn it around and use the handle to touch her breast or the hip. All right. Good. Okay. So here, hold on to this if you need it. Say that. 
Tell me now. Is there a chance that I can just put her back on, like, tie her up again and then lead it up to her, or would that be a bad idea? Tie up would be a bad idea. Okay. I'll explain why. Well, I brought it up to the side of Eve, and I'm sure you saw that. Looks like the angle's going to be good. Now, Sam just asked me, since there's only two of us, could she tie Eve up? Uh, and then there could be the two of us bringing the forecart around Eve's hips, around her rump, and actually letting the shafts sit in the Cossack straps. And I said, nope, that wouldn't be a good idea. Why? Because if she does get spooked, it would be bad if she were tied to a tie ring, even to a blocker tie ring, because she'll want to pull back and get away from it. And if she feels the pressure uh, of the lead line on her halter, that will spook her even more. So now we're going to wait until we have the right crew, enough people, enough aware people around. And based on the way Eve just behaved and how she got better when we let her investigate and walked around, I think we're going to get there. It may not be in the next session, but it will be one tiny baby step at a time. The tack is going to work. We're going to be able to drive her with these yellow long rope drive lines. And in one of these days, I don't know when yet, I'll get in the forecart and we'll ask Eve to pull it around this simulated farming area. It's about an acre, totally enclosed with white vinyl fencing. It is on a road, so we never know what might be going by, but that's okay as long as we've got Eve trusting us, as long as we have mutual confidence. And that's all for today. It may like, not seem like we took a, uh, an important step, but I'm telling you from my experience, we took a very important tiny baby step today, and we're stopping on a good note on our moment of resolution. Today is a session with Sadie and Eve. I have Eve here with a neck strap and a halter behind the camera. I'm going to explain what I realized yesterday, uh, and we're going to start doing it off camera, but just give you a little introduction. Freestyle uh, is is great, especially with more than one horse, when they understand that their job is to stay together and to have confidence in their human leader. Well, if we could get Sadie and her mom Eve to understand that when we walk around here in this simulated farm pasture uh, with all of their harness stuff on, uh, and then maybe even pulling stuff, that their job is to stay together. So it's autumn here in Santa Cruz, it's nice weather. We've got a neck strap, just a piece of nylon neck strap around Sadie. Um, Aniel has a, an arm extension with a real slack lead line. She's going to walk around asking Sadie to do a lot of direction change. Direction change keeps their focus, makes them realize they have a job. If she's doing well, I'm going to leave the camera here. We're going to stay by the camera because we do not have the mics on again today. Uh, I'm going to walk with her next to her as best I can. And we're going to uh, let Sadie and Eve know that they're giving us the right answer when they stay together and parallel. And when they don't, it's not enough just to correct them. It's also important to let them know Say whatever you need to say to let them know they're giving you the wrong answer. Like, for example, we like to use ah. Okay? Really important for them to know that. And it gets so that they want to please you and they um, will understand what the right answer is and they'll do it without somebody at the head. Okay, go ahead, walk around here, changing direction a lot. Good. And you see how she used her arm extension behind her. Okay, change your direction a lot. Serpentine. G and ha. G is right, ha is left. 
Ah, I see you had to lift your right hand. Okay. Good, good, good. The more you change direction, the more focus they'll have to give you to give you the right answer. And visual blocks, of course, with your fingers, with your arm extension. Okay, now what I'd like you to do, so, okay, let loose of the lead line. Stand exactly in the same position because we're doing a join up. And if you need to apply pressure because she's not giving you the right answer, well then, use the neck strap or the loop of the halter. Okay, same drill. <laughs> okay, you can use the halter at first because they're used to that pressure across their nose, but we really want to get the right answer associated with the neck strap. And we've done this with them in the past, but not here in this pasture where they're being asked to do some farming maneuvers. Yeah, she doesn't understand yet. She's not running away, and if she does, this is enclosed entirely by perimeter fence, so we're not worried. That neck strap might fall off her neck, but we're not worried. Good, good. See, she has to realize that the right answer, the work that she's doing now is just to stay with Danielle. She's looking good, she's looking good. Yes, neck strap pressure, and keep going if you can, and if she's giving you the wrong answer, some kind of verbal cue that she understands is, uh-oh, that's the wrong answer. Good? Good. Keep, a, keep your peripheral vision on her. Try to look where you're going. Very nice. Now I'm going to try to go out there, come a little closer so that if we have something to say it can be heard on the camera and do a parallel maneuver with you. You're going to do the G and Ha request and me and Eve are going to do it with you in parallel if we can. And then we're going to practice a ton when we're off camera. First I'll use my lead line. Okay. Go ahead, do what you were doing. Okay, as we're going towards the camera, take the lead line off. And we'll try to stay parallel. And then we'll get to the camera and we'll ho. Ho. Oh. Oh. Okay, Eve is doing pretty good, but I don't have her off the line yet. I'm going to do that now. I hope she doesn't take off. See more at www.urbancowgirlchannel.com.